Indianapolis International Airport IATA, IND, ICAO, KIND, FAA LID, IND, is an international airport located 7 miles 11 kilometers southwest of downtown Indianapolis in Marion County, Indiana, United States. It is owned and operated by the Indianapolis Airport Authority. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2017-2021 categorized it as a medium hub primary commercial service facility, opened as Indianapolis Municipal Airport in 1931 and later known as Weir Cook Municipal Airport. Indianapolis International occupies about 7,700 acres 3,116 hectares in Wayne and Decatur Townships in Marion County and Guilford Township in Hendricks County. It is the 45th busiest U.S. airport in terms of passenger traffic, serving 8.5 million passengers annually. As home to the second-largest FedEx Express hub in the world, Eind ranked as the seventh busiest U.S. airport in terms of air cargo throughput in 2015. A $1.1 billion midfield passenger terminal opened in 2008 as one of the first designed and built in the U.S. following the September 11 attacks. The Colonel Harvey Weir Cook Terminal contains two concourses and 40 gates, connecting to 51 non-stop domestic and international destinations and averaging 145 daily departures. Topic History Indianapolis Municipal Airport opened in 1931. In 1944, it was renamed Weir Cook Municipal Airport, after U.S. Army Air Force's call. Harvey Weir Cook of Wilkinson, Indiana, who became a flying ace during World War I with seven victories and died flying a P-39 over New Caledonia in World War II. Since 1962, the airport has been owned and operated by the Indianapolis Airport Authority IAA, an eight-member board with members appointed by the mayor of Indianapolis and other officials from Marion, Hendricks and Hamilton counties in central Indiana. In 1976, the board renamed the airport Indianapolis International Airport. In 2008, the board named the new main passenger facility the Call H. Weir Cook Terminal and the new entrance road Call H. Weir Cook Memorial Drive. From 1957 to 2008, the passenger terminal was on the east side of the airfield off High School Road. This now demolished facility was renovated and expanded many times, notably in 1968 Concourses A and B, 1972 Concourse D, and 1987 Concourse C and the attached parking garage. This complex, along with the International Arrivals Terminal opened in 1976 on the north side of the airfield off Pearson Drive, was replaced by the call. H. Weir Cook Terminal on November 12, 2008. The April 1957 OAG shows 82 weekday departures, 24 Eastern, 22 TWA, 15 Delta, 11 American, 9 Lake Central, and 1 Ozark. Eastern had a non stop to Atlanta and one to Birmingham, and TWA had two to LaGuardia. No other non stops reached beyond Chicago, St. Louis, Memphis, Louisville, and Pittsburgh. Westward non stops didn't reach beyond St. Louis until 1967. TWA started a JFK Eind LAX 707 that year. The first jets were TWA 880s in 1961. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, U.S. Air, later US Airways had a secondary hub in Indianapolis with non-stop jets to the West Coast, East Coast and Florida and turboprop flights to cities around the Midwest. U.S. Air peaked at 146 daily departures, including its prop affiliates, with 49% of all seats. U.S. Air ended the hub in the late 1990s. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Indianapolis was a hub for then locally based ATA Airlines and its regional affiliate, Chicago Express, ATA Connection. After that airline entered Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in late 2004, operations at Eind were cut, then eliminated in 2006. ATA's demise gave Northwest Airlines an opportunity to expand operations, making Indianapolis a focus city with mainline flights to the West Coast, East Coast, and the South. Northwest was later absorbed by Delta Air Lines in late 2008. In 1994, BAA was awarded a 10-year contract to manage the Indianapolis International Airport. The contract was extended three years but was later cut a year short at the request of the BAA. Private management ended on December 31, 2007 and control reverted to IAA. Also in 1994, United Airlines finished building Indianapolis Maintenance Center, at a cost of USD $600 million. 
United later moved their maintenance operations to its sole maintenance hub located at San Francisco International Airport. Around 2006, runway 14 30 seconds was shortened from 7,604 feet to its present length because the south end was not visible from the new control tower. In 2009, Republic Airways announced it would retain its maintenance hub and headquarters in Indianapolis after acquiring the much larger Frontier Airlines in Denver. In August 2017, Allegiant Air announced it would open a $40 million aircraft base at Indianapolis International Airport that would begin operations in February of the following year. The facility was to create 66 high paying jobs by the end of year and house two Airbus aircraft. In September 2017, Delta Air Lines announced it would begin service from Indianapolis to Paris beginning in May 2018. This flight will be the first ever non-stop transatlantic passenger flight out of Indianapolis. In October 2017, the airport announced that Frontier Airlines would move from Concourse B to Concourse A. The move occurred in January 2018. Topic Colonel Harvey Weir Cook Terminal A new 1,200,000 square foot 110,000 square meters midfield passenger terminal, which cost $1.1 billion, opened in 2008 between the airport's two parallel runways, southwest of the previous terminal and the crosswind runway. A new FAA Air Traffic Control Tower ATCT, and Terminal Radar Approach Control Tracken building, second tallest in the United States, opened in April 2006, the first component of the long-planned midfield complex. The Weir Cook Terminal itself opened for arriving flights on the evening of November 11, 2008, and for departures the following morning. HOK was its master designer, with Aerodesign Group a joint venture among CSO architects, Schenkelschultz Architecture and Archonsortium serving as architect of record. Aviation Capital Management Indianapolis, a subsidiary of BSA Life Structures, was the airport's program manager. Hunt, Smoot Midfield Builders, a joint venture of Hunt Construction Group and Smoot Construction was the construction manager. Thornton Tomasetti was the terminal's structural engineer along with Fink, Roberts and Petrie. Siska Hennessy was the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineer, the new terminal, named in honor of Call. Harvey Weir Cook, has room for 44 domestic gates and two international gates, which can also function as domestic gates. Not all gate positions were used upon opening of the facility, to allow for future expansion by the airlines. The two gate concourse structures were built to allow for future expansion on their southwestern ends which is why gates A1-A2 and B1-B2 do not yet exist. The new terminal allows international arrivals to go through customs in the main passenger terminal, these passengers used to disembark in a separate building. Passengers arriving at gates A4 and A5 go to the U.S. Customs and Federal Inspection Station on the arrivals level via a dedicated and secured stairway, escalator, or elevator. After clearing customs, they exit into the south end of the main terminal's domestic baggage claim area. The A concourse has a Delta Sky Club, the first airline lounge at Indianapolis International Airport since U.S. Air closed its hub. The lounge opened on November 15, 2010. Eight rental car operations and the Ground Transportation Center where information about limousine, shuttle bus, hotel courtesy vehicles and other transportation services such as Indigo Bus Service can be obtained are located on the first floor of the attached parking garage. All pickups and drop-offs of rental vehicles also occur here, eliminating the need for shuttling customers to and from individual companies' remote processing facilities. The five-floor parking garage covers 11 acres 4 .5 hectares on each of its levels. It features a light-filled center atrium complete with a piece of suspended artwork and contains moving sidewalks to speed pedestrians into and out of the terminal building itself. The airport's master plan calls for a fourth-third parallel runway to be built southeast of I-70 sometime in the future. Between 2002 and 2004 the Indiana Department of Transportation INDOT rebuilt a portion of this interstate highway running through the south end of the airport's property. The realigned freeway allows a future taxiway bridge to the proposed fourth runway to cross overhead and has a new traffic interchange for the midfield terminal complex. This I-70 exit number 68 is now the airport's main entrance, replacing the entrance at Sam Jones Expressway which was built as the Airport Expressway and High School Road. Provision has been made for future light rail transit LRT access to the Weir Cook Terminal Complex.
Topic: International Air Service. The airport has passenger service to Canada, Mexico, Dominican Republic, and France, and one international passenger airline, Air Canada Express. International air cargo service is available to Canada, United Kingdom, Japan and France on FedEx Express, and to Luxembourg on Cargolux. Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Top Destinations Carrot 1 Allegiant Air serves Orlando SFB with 35,000 additional passengers a year, not included in this total. Topic: Airline market share. Topic: Annual traffic. Topic Based Aircraft In January 2018, there were 45 aircraft based at this airport, six single-engine aircraft, eight multi-engine aircraft, 30 jets, and one helicopter. Topic Airport Management The Indianapolis International Airport is owned and operated by the Indianapolis Airport Authority IAA, a municipal corporation established in 1962. The IAA operates five other airports in the area, Indianapolis Downtown Heliport, Eagle Creek Airpark, Hendricks County Airport Gordon Graham Field, Indianapolis Metropolitan Airport, and Indianapolis Regional Airport. The IAA board leadership is Barbara Glass serving as president, Steve Dillinger serving as vice president, and Alfred R. Bennett serving as secretary. Mario Rodriguez, an award winning airport industry veteran, became the executive director, CEO of the Indianapolis Airport Authority in June 2014. <laughs> Accidents and incidents On November 1, 1963, a Lake Central Airlines Douglas C-53C caught fire inside a hangar. It was quickly moved outside to save two other DC-3s in the same hangar. On September 9, 1969, Allegheny Airlines Flight 853 on a Boston, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, St. Louis route, collided in mid-air with a Piper Cherokee during its descent over Fairland, Indiana in Shelby County. The McDonnell Douglas DC-931 crashed into a cornfield near London, Indiana, killing all 78 passengers and four crew members on board. The student pilot who was flying the Cherokee was also killed. On October 20, 1987, a United States Air Force A-7D Corsair II crashed into a Ramada Inn near the airport after the pilot was forced to eject due to an engine malfunction. Ten people were killed, nine of them hotel employees. On October 31, 1994, American Eagle Flight 4184, which was flying from Indianapolis to O'Hare International Airport, crashed into a soybean field near the northwestern Indiana town of Roselawn, killing all 68 on board. Accolades <coughs> <coughs> 2017 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2016 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2015 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2014 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2013 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 
2012 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2011 Second Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2010 Best Airport in North America of the Airport Service Quality Awards by Airports Council International 2010 Highest Overall Satisfaction Index Score Among Small Airports 10 million passengers per year by J.D. Power & Associates <laughs>